What's up everyone, Dabblade here with an information video regarding this week's limited bounties and event quests in Monster Hunter World. This is for both PC and console versions of the game and is for the week starting the 23rd of May 2019. Now this week in all honesty is a little bit of a slow week, but considering we're just coming off the tail end of the Spring Blossom Festival, I'm not too surprised, especially with Iceborne on the horizon. To be honest, we'll probably get one more seasonal event before Iceborne, namely the Summer Twilight Fest, but we'll have to wait and see if this is confirmed or not. Anyway, first let's talk about the weekly activities on console. Now, in terms of limited bounties, they have four of them. First is an ecology survey to hunt Kuruyaku. We have to hunt down three of these bird wyverns, and it can be at high or low rank. And for doing so, you get research points and some armor spheres. Next is a general wildspire waste limited bounty to clear four quests in this specific location at high rank. And for doing so, you get research points, some advanced armor spheres, and a silver wyvarian print. Next is a general nine star rank limited bounty to complete five quests at this specific rank. 9 star quests are normally tempered monsters or very end game hunts. Anyway, for completing 5 of them you'll get research points, some hard armor spheres and a silver wyvarian print. And then finally is the general limited bounty to complete all of this week's other limited bounties. And for doing so you'll get research points, a gold wyvarian print that can be exchanged for monster gems at the Elder Melda and a golden egg that can be sold for Zenny. So there we have it, those are the limited bounties we have this week. Not too difficult unless you haven't got to end game yet. But what about event quests? Well unfortunately console is a little bit on a dry spell. They have four event quests. First is Yaku with that, a four star low rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank six or higher. This has players taken on a Kuriyaku and Zitsuyaku in the special arena. Nothing too special about taking on this quest whatsoever unless you want low rank monster parts from these monsters or you're trying to complete the Kuriyaku limited bounty. Next is Greeting the Gluttons, a four star low rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank six or higher. This has players taken on a Great Jagras, Puke Puke and Paolumu in the special arena. And upon completion of this quest, you'll be rewarded with quite a few meal vouchers that can be used in the canteen to guarantee whatever food buff you're going for. Next is Rolling with the Uragan, a 7 star high rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 13 or higher. This has players taken on 2 Uragan in the Elder's Resets. And upon completion of this quest, you'll get a fair few armor spheres as your reward. And finally is the Wild Spy of Bolero, a 7 star high rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 13 or higher. This has players taking on all the monsters associated with the Wildspire Waste, so that's Kuriyaku, Baroth, Jirotodos, Raffian, and Diablos. Now, for taking this quest on, there's an increased chance of finding all of these monsters at the large or small gold crown size. This is also a nice quest to take on if you want to get the limited bounties this week done quickly. Also, additionally on consoles, if you go up to the Gathering Hub, the Arch Tempered Kulftaroth Siege is actually going on for the next week. This is a 9 star high rank event that requires hunters to be hunter rank 16 or higher, and has the group effort of all players in the Gathering Hub repelling Kulftaroth. And for doing this, there's a chance of getting unique weapons that you can only get from the Siege. So there we have it for console. What about PC? Well, first the limited bounties. Again, they have four of them. First is an ecology survey to hunt Kuriyaku, exactly the same as it has on console. We have to hunt down three of them, and again it can be at high or low rank. And for doing so you get research points and some armor spheres. Next is an ecology survey to hunt Flying Wyvern. Flying Wyverns include Paolumu, Raffian, Raffalos, Legiana, Basiljuice, Diablos, and all the subspecies. Anyway, for taking five of them down at high or low rank, you'll get research points, some armor sphere plus, and a first Wyvarian print. Next is an ecology survey to slay Elder Dragons. We have to hunt down and slay five of them at high rank. And for doing so you get research points, some hard atmospheres and a silver wyvarian print. And then finally is the general limited bounty to complete all of this week's other limited bounties. And for doing so you'll get research points, a gold wyvarian print that can be exchanged for monster gems at the Elder Melda, and a silver egg that can be sold for Zenny. So those are the limited bounties, not too difficult whatsoever, and can even be completed even if you haven't seen the credits roll. But anyway, what about the event quests? Well, PC have a lot more than console this week. First is the Contract Woodland Spirit. This is a 9 star high rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 50 or higher. This has players taken on an ancient lesson in the ancient forest. Basically this is part 2 of the Witcher Free Wild Hunt crossover event with Monster Hunter World. Anyway, for taking on this quest you can get materials to craft the Siri full armor set and weapon, upgrade the Witcher Silver Sword and potentially find mutagens to craft the Siri or Geralt layered armor. Anyway, next is the Greeting the Gluttons, a 4 star low rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 6 or higher. This has players taken on a Great Jagras, Puke Puke and Paolumu in the special arena. And for completing this quest, you'll get meal vouchers as your reward. Next is Wicked Wildspire Warfare, a 5 star low rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 8 or higher. This has players taken on Tuberoth and a Diablos in the special arena. And upon completion of this quest, you'll get some armor spheres out of it, although this is normally the low rank in armor spheres. Next is Flesh Cleave the Bone, a 5 star low rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 8 or higher. This has players taken on an Adogaron and Radaban in the special arena. Nothing too special about this quest, although it's a way to farm low rank materials from these monsters. Next is the Effluvial Opera, a 7 star high rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 13 or higher. 
This has players taken on all the monsters associated with the Rotten Vale. So that's Great Giros, Radaban, Adogaron, and Basil Juice. And for taking this quest on, once again, like with all the music related event quests, there's an increased chance of finding these monsters at the large or small gold crown size. And then finally is tracking the delivery, a 9 star high rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 50 or higher. This requires players to collect 10 blue barrel from the elder's recess. Now there are no large monsters on this map whatsoever, but the place is littered in tempered monster tracks, namely tempered elder dragons. So it's one to consider if you want to boost up your investigation list a little bit. So there we have it, those are the activities we have this week. As I said, it is a little bit of a slow one. PC users still get an opportunity to take on the contract woodland spirit and get the loot related to the witcher free wild hunt crossover event there but apart from that it's a little bit of a slow week finally though before i go a little bit of extra news the herald of destruction's cry arch tempered nergigante is going to be making its way to pc on june 7th so not too long to wait until pc have all available content just like console but anyway what are your thoughts leave a comment down below and until next time I've been Dabley, bringing you an information video regarding this week's limited bounties and event quests on Monster Underworld. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.